opening cinematic, I guess. See how much I can eat while watching the opening cinematic. Sure. No, it's going to cost you $54.46. What's up, Donesy Bear? Well, were you here for yesterday's rundown? Because it's the same thing. <laughs> it's, it's the same exact thing. My stupid... I'm not a wizard. It does have avocados, yes. So we are one hour into this game. I think that's because I started over after half an hour. CP is zero points. Clear point zero. Item 10. Episode 1. Alright, let's go. It's the same as yesterday without the broccoli and cauliflower because I ran out. But tomorrow I'm going to make some more broccoli and cauliflower.
Where am I going? Okay, what's down here? I don't think I've ever been over here. What is that? Is that not something on the ground? Is that not a flying machine? I can't tell what anything is on the screen. Are you kidding? Hey, look, it's a burger joint. A horse meat burger for $50 or a banana for 500 50 cents, okay? Mons, hello steel nut. So basically we are wandering around trying to find something. None of this stuff is what I need. Is this the bathroom? It says gentleman. You're over blood too. Oh. I mean, it's it's more common in uh, in Holland, right? But I'm sure they have it in Belgium too. Look at all this stuff, dude. Cowboy style jackets. Oh, okay. Ladies. Hey, that's the ladies. What? I can't go in there then? Screw you. That's racist. Sure, there is. I say there is. So this town is like a big giant area where nothing makes any sense and you just wander around. Maybe you'll come across where you're trying to go. I have no idea. I've been here. It's not where I want to go. Just keep wandering. <clears throat> I don't even remember what I'm supposed to be getting anymore. And yeah, right, I have no idea how to get back to where I just was, either. Because the screen transitions aren't obvious, either. Sometimes you can go up or down, but you can't really tell. Hey, there's a surfing USA. Is that where I want to go? I've never been there. I haven't ever seen this screen. I played for like an hour in this area. I never saw that screen. Okay, there's the, there's the train station. Can't go there yet, I don't think. No, can't go in there. Was that another banana? All right, this is where I wanna be.
Alright, we're gonna buy what that dude in the street told me to buy randomly. Peepo! Hi, Peepo. I don't want to buy any bombs, Peepo. crap either. I need a hook shot. I need a shock absorber. I saw a shock absorber in the other in the other store. I have a feeling I could walk around this area for hours and continue to find new things. Nice frame rate. If I'm ever in trouble, go see the man with no face. You have no face, and your head is tiny. Hi, Augur. Uh, I, I very seriously doubt it, Ernie Mac. I would love a remake of the first game, though. It was actually good, and this one is horrible. <sighs> this game is just a chore. And then every once in a while you get a funny moment. A stupid funny moment. But it's so rare that this game really is not worth it. At all. Like, I don't know why I'm still playing it. I should have stopped a long time ago. But... Okay, we made it back to the burger place, so we go across the street over here. Should be close to the star. Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait. No, wait. Burger place. Peepo. Okay. Dang it. 
It is astronautistic, how you doing? Because I like shit games. Uh oh. Okay, yes, this is where I need to be. I need shock absorber from this guy. Or from the gentleman. How am I supposed to afford that? So it's time to like wander around again until we accidentally stumble back across the beginning of this area So I can check again with that guy uh, What I what exactly I need to get I know he said that I could find one thing like on the ground somewhere It was great Like, none of these streets make any logical sense. It's just the camera just goes, you know, one way or the other, just flips whenever you're walking. There, there's no reality here. Alright, I'm just, I just pick away, like, like, it's random where the screen transitions are, if there are or aren't screen transitions. You know, like there, the bottom of the screen takes you somewhere else. The last screen, the bottom of the screen doesn't take you anywhere. No, you just don't go anywhere. No, there are not tank controls. It's got stupid 3D controls. Okay, we're near the beginning. What's this thing? Okay, chip, no, wait, oh, no, 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 is it, is it this? Okay. We're getting there. We're so close. Where is it? All right, here we are. I got one of the items. Did I just walk out or in? Out. Okay. Uh. Go and look for the hookshot behind my flymobile. Where, sir, is your flymobile? So, do you think this is his flymobile? 
Does this look like a flymobile? Forgive me, Master. The mission was a failure, as you could see from my eye cam. He had an unexpected ally. I've seen it all from the camera. If I hadn't forgiven you, Kondo, you wouldn't be alive. Make sure you don't fail me again. Yes, sir. Look at that there fountain! There is an access code of the contents of our plan inside the capsule. And we're going to be done for if someone finds it. You know that this kind of thing must not happen. Yes, sir. Make sure you sort this problem out. Sir. Tell me more about the boy. Have you ever seen him before? Hi, Maple. No. Zap, zap, zap. There was something different about him. I sensed it from here. He possesses great power that even he is not aware of. This boy can be a great threat to us. You must watch him carefully. Sir. Do you think he's... <laughs> A plant? A company spy? That was my fear. Rabbit. But then again, Hi, rabbit. he might just be a courageous kid with a powerful spirit. Yes, sir. Hmm. Let's keep an eye on him. How you doing? I love the puking fountain. So how is our esteemed guest, Dr. Curtis, doing? Sleeping like a baby. Excellent. Resting that brilliant mind of his. We'll get the information from him in due time. He won't give it to us willingly, so we'll let him play the cheese for our other little mice. Yes. You may go now, Kondo. You've managed to live another day. Yes, thank you, sir. I won't fail you again. Twenty years. It's been twenty years. Not that long to be ruler of the world. What? That is my response to that cutscene. What? Dusty. Oh, CDs. 
We don't have cases, but that's okay. We like to play games. That's what's more important. These are from Darkwing Drake. Let's see, we got Haze for PlayStation 3. Dark Souls for PS3. Darksiders for PS3. Skyrim for PS3. W2K14. I don't know what Darkwing did with his cases. <laughs> no, Darkwing sent them to me. I'm not. I didn't buy them. They're for free. Dead Island. Okami. Front Mission 4. And Front Mission 4. They said one of these front missions works. Oh, I already did on Xbox 360 when I first played it, Vegas. Wait, but wait, there's more. We also have Super Street Fighter 4. Hi, Paul. Final Fantasy Tactics. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. God of War Collection. The King of Fighters 12. But wait, there's more. Hi, Megalonyx. Dark Sector on PS3. Twisted Metal Black X. Monster Hunter! Trapped. That's the worst name for a video game ever. And finally... Dynasty Warriors 5. Whew. Do you think I'll play any of these games on stream? Deception series. <sighs> PS3 month. Oh boy. But yeah, Trapped is by Tecmo. Probably right. Maybe I'll try out Monster Hunter 1. Metal Gear Solid 4 will get its continuation in March. I'll probably start the game over though, since I'm only like three hours in or something. Okay. But thank you very much Darkwing Drake for the video games. I will play some of them.
All right, I got the hook shot. I got the uh, the other thing. I want to change the camera again. I'll be playing the first three Deception games pretty soon. I don't think I have them for this weekend. But I might do them next weekend. Probably the first couple of them next weekend. Alright, I got the stuff, dude. Can we do something now? Are you ready now? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's get started. Good. Go and rent yourself a room and get some sleep. Meet me here at midnight tomorrow. Where am I supposed to do that? Look. Oh, I don't. something I gotta know. What's that? Um, I am with you, okay? But what am I getting into? Robbing the government. <laughs> Still with us? Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, let me get this straight now. You're saying I'm going to be robbing government secrets. You could change your mind. But I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I told you, I don't vote. Let's go get them. My creation is evolving. Hi, Ten Pot, and thank you, Ten Pot. Master, we've finally tracked down Navarro Jean. Navarro Jean? Should I alert HISS? That won't be necessary. He's no threat. Navarro Jean is a coward. Just leak his whereabouts to ITP. But, sir, he's. Don't concern yourself with him, Kondo. The man is harmless. He's just a tiger without teeth. Yes. <sighs> Robbing the government. Dun dun! I'm in. So. This is crimson. So I had to say, robbing the wow. government. Okay, let's go. When you're up close like this, it really is blood red. That's your destination, Billboard Island. What's that cylinder-shaped thing behind the island? It's a key zone air cooling tower. One of the units that keeps the planet from overheating. Mm. A key zone cooler. This is the first one I've ever seen up close. We learned about them in school. I know we have to depend on these machines to keep the air breathable. Most of us don't think about it. It's too frightening. Yeah, but your generation had no choice. When it caught up with us ten years ago, I think it was called Terra Therma Syndrome or something like that. <laughs> I can't believe that you knew about that study. Hey man, what's so hard to believe? I read the papers. I could have been a real good student. If I wanted to, that is. I lasted two years in college and then dropped out. The classes weren't that hard. But once I started competing in Junk Blade, I knew what I wanted to do with my future. That's the life for me. Big money, international fame, partying and lots of travel. So I packed up my things, left this sleepy little town of Greyland and came here to East Edge to make it big in the professional Junk Blade races. Of course, it's not exactly going the way I planned. Some of my buddies joined the military, but that's not for me. I, don't get me wrong, I love my country. But being an assembly line soldier just ain't my thing. No balls! Well, looks like you're gonna have a chance to prove how much you love your country. 
That term, Terra Thermic Syndrome, was bullshit. This planet was at the first stage of ecosystem burnout, and that was ten years ago. I will. But maybe it's fair. Earth kills us before we kill it. You're a regular ray of sunshine. What kind of talk is that? We've destroyed our planet. Against all warnings, it may be too late to repair it. Hey man, time out. I'm not giving Hard. up. Hard. I don't think it's hopeless. We'll find a way to fix things. We've got to. Hey, these key zone cooling systems are working, and everyone is doing all they can to stop polluting. So let's not be so pessimistic. And before you went all gloom and doom on me, you were going to tell me more about the island. So let's get back to business. What do I do next? Dying of boredom, that's all. It's choppy out there. Is there a strong undercurrent? Don't worry. It looks worse than it is. You'll be okay down there. When you get into the structure, be careful. Navarro Jean's a brilliant scientist. There's no telling what kind of new security systems he set up. Okay. I'll be ready. You can do it. I'm counting on you. See you at the pub. <laughs> hey, put one on yes. ice for me, will you? It's true, they're unskippable cutscenes. All right. I'm in. The coffee won't hurt. All right, so let me get this straight. Bartender Stranger Guy says... We're going to rob the government. Junk Blade Racer College Dropout says, I'm in for no reason. Now, completely inexperienced at thieving or anything else, this guy's like, where you're going, they're geniuses, and there's no telling what kind of security measures they have. He's like, ah, I'll be ready. I've never done this before. I have zero experience, but whatever it is, I'll be ready. No idea what it is, but I'll be ready for no idea what. Uh, now the game is going to spoil everything. There are two ways to get onto Billboard Island. It's a great name for an island. The first is by using a hook shot from the deck. The second is by diving under the water and pushing the gate switch from the submarine. You know what's really sad is that this game has nothing to do with Overblood 1. Literally nothing. I found 40 credits though. And also, I can hold my breath forever. Which 
Shiny spot. Look at all this free money on the ocean floor. Who knew? I should go diving more often. Free money everywhere. Oh look, more free money. I'm coming for you, free money. Oh yeah. I guess I know why it's called Billboard Island. <sighs> All right, so <laughs> That's how I float in the water too. That's how I float. <laughs> because my balls are extremely buoyant. <laughs> oh yeah, it's select. That's right. Okay. There are no great ideas here, though. Just take out the, the great ideas or, and the dedication, and I think you're spot on. All right, invisible walls, of course, of course, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Naturally, invisible walls. Yes, invisible walls, yep. I don't, th I don't think this is a Japanese game, Dinbot. I think this is European. River Hillsoft. Hi, oh, honorable mention. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want to. I wanted to die. So I mean the oops, I hit start. Oh man. I have to reset the console. River Hill Soft is Japanese, huh? The first one seemed Japanese, and this one really doesn't. Yeah, it's Japanese. But it's by the uh, director and writer of Dark Cloud and Rogue Galaxy and the director of Dragon Quest VIII and the director of Dragon Quest IX and the writer of Nino Kuni. Both of them. Akihiro Hino. I 
This is the first game that he wrote and directed and designed. He was a programmer on Overblood 1. Makes me not want to play Dragon Quest 8, I'll tell you that. Hi, Power Wolf. I don't know why anybody gave him another chance after this one. But it makes me not want to play any of those games because I haven't played any of those games on there. I haven't played Dark Cloud, Nino Kuni, Dragon Quest VIII or IX. Or Rogue Galaxy. I know a lot of these games, but I haven't played any of them. I think I'll just, like, play Akihiro Hino's first game and then none of the other ones. So this one will remain my, my impression of him forever. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Uh, I mean, probably... I don't know, I haven't played it. Just basically looks like an old school JRPG to me. Hi right, Wobble Penguin. Level up everyone. I always do if I have a team kind of thing like Final Fantasy Tactics or something. I don't ever just keep the one team and forsake the other characters. So yeah, I would do that. So we have two different ways to do this. We could go under here, or we can use the hook shot. Why would people teach you how to do karate beans? Don't they know you're mean? I know, Power Wolf. Nine is the one that everybody says isn't good. Well, here's the button, right? Now the game said that I needed to swim under the water and push the button from the submarine. They mean while I'm under the water? Is that what they mean by submarine? When you are a submarine, push the button, but not an actual submarine? I'm telling them, Beans. I'm telling them. Nope. I found the submarine. Uh, those are sharks. I think. They look like sharks. Get on the thing! Ah! Oh no! Oh, fight for it! Fight for that ladder! Get away from me, sharks! Get up there, you moron! Okay, there we go. In the submarine, there are important items, but first, let's search around the entrance to the submarine. Dude, seriously? Shut up! To climb on the wing of the submarine, Open. you can jump and climb by pushing the square button. Try this from under the wing. Megalonyx, do they call that the submarine wing? Is that really what it's called? Is that a wing? A heat pack, if thrown into the water, will cause the water to evaporate. 
When this happens, anything that was in the water will be left high and dry. If the heat pack doesn't reach the water's surface, it will be lost, so aim carefully. Hello, Jimmy. What? What happened? Oh. What, do, what, do I, what am I... I mean, are they telling me that I should use the heat pack on the water? Is that what you're telling me to do, game? You're telling me, like, everything to do. I'm gonna throw them at these sharks. I don't know how to aim, though. Like, I don't have an aiming button. Okay, what do you think it's under? Heat back. Throw. Throw. <laughs> Stupid shark, look at you now, huh? What are you gonna do now? You gonna bite me? Please bite me. No. Oh, do I have like a... I have a knife, don't I? Look at that. Knife. Man, what a jerk you are. What's his name again? A, cra a Chrono Brainy or some crap? He's got like the worst name ever. What now, sharks, huh? <clears throat> they sure did. <laughs> Don't blame me, Jimmy. I'm not the one wielding a knife. It's this guy, Conan O'Brien. <clears throat> Definitely Conan O'Brien's fault. Okay, can we like remove? All right. Okay. All right. Okay. <sighs> Don't do it, Redbeard. It's Conan O'Brien, not me. What you mean there's nowhere to use it? What are you talking about, game? Dude, come on! Hard. Yeah. Yeah. There's shinies over there! I can't save, though.
Think we can make it? <laughs> Fucking Conan O'Brien. I think this one's better. Hold on. Party's over. <laughs> or Dayton. <laughs> Alright, this time we're going to try to go over there before we we get rid of the water and kill the sharks, okay? Can't believe this stupid game wouldn't even let me save. Like, it doesn't even make sense. You know, at the beginning of the game, the game explained to me when I could and couldn't save. It's like, you can save anywhere as long as you're not in water or some other stuff. But none of those things were when you happen to be in this one area that you're in right now. Made no sense whatsoever. I don't think it's softlocked, Assy, because you can still go in the submarine. And I think we're supposed to go in the submarine... I just think that the shiny objects are probably optional, but I want them, so I was willing to kill myself and possibly get them. What's up, Parrish? G. Darius was amazing, and I think I'm... or Darius. I think I'm going to play Darius Gaiden this weekend. Can you save when you're underwater? No. No, you cannot. Push the button. Guide is worse than G? Okay. I'm still excited to play it. I love shoot 'em ups. I'm gonna have shoot 'em up day real soon. I mean, real soon. Right, we can do this. Just get on the ladder, Conan. Ha ha. Screw you, sharks. Okay. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Screw you, game. I died for that. Alright. Come on, game. Whoever programmed this game... No, no, no. What? Okay. Sure. Whatever you say, dude. Can I get on this? I'm back! Okay, good. What? It didn't make any sense. Metal Black, which is a spiritual prequel to Jeet the Rise. Well, Jeet the Rise did have laser duels. He's just, he's not going to jump up there, dude. He's just not going to do it. You don't know. <laughs> oh. All right. It's impossible. Game doesn't want to let me do it. It would make too much sense. Uh, 
All right, position the camera perfectly, position the jump perfectly. There we go. Shut up about the heat pack. I want to go over there. If it's optional. No! Oh my god, I made it. <gasps> okay. Okay. Oh my god, it was so hard. Don't fall, don't fall. Okay. I want the treasure! It's probably like five credits. Five time bomb. Yeah, well, if the game lets me save, I will try that, Assy. I don't know if it's going to let me save, though. Emergency spray. Is that it? So I'm guessing up here is where you'd go if you used the hook shot. There is nowhere to use it. This is so stupid. All right, can I save here? Hold on, let me make sure I can go back down. Can I save here? Yay! We're gonna make a backup save because I do not trust this game. Rage quitting Twitch after being suspended. What was he suspended for? All right, we ready to freeze the water? I'm ready. He said a bad word. Well, there's not a whole lot of bad words you can be suspended for. Wait, where's my... Oh, there it is. Okay. Freeze pack. There you go. It's even slippery. Well, he shouldn't have done that, Sam Scramsh. Is he a moron? Do you not know to not say that? Have you ever heard of PewDiePie? Or anyone else who gets in trouble for that? Are you... You have to be an absolute moron to be a major big streamer and to say that. How stupid can you be? Yeah, he got suspended, apparently, and then he rage quit. I mean, even if he's, even if people shouldn't be offended, he's a moron for not knowing that he shouldn't do that, that he could be suspended, right? Like, 
even if you don't believe that it's wrong to do that, you're still a moron if you don't realize that you're gonna get in trouble for it. Either way, you're either a douchebag or a moron or both. Probably both, but you know. At least one of them. <laughs> Probably both. Uh... Okay. Uh, I think it's heat pack time. Can we get onto the submarine without doing that? Where'd all my frames go? Maybe right there? Probably not. Yeah, probably so. Still net, pretty much, but still, you know. No, no. Can I just run and jump? Maybe. Maybe I could have always just run and jump. Oh, ho, ho! A champion. Okay. No, we have to do the, we have to do the water thing, or else the the submarine doesn't open. All right, because the hatch is closed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and don't knock me off. Oh, no! Can you... Oh my god. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, you wouldn't do it at the workplace. Shouldn't do it in to random people in public. See, now the, uh, the hatch is open up there. Yeah, okay. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you can't climb down ladders. Why should you be able to climb down ladders? Free Tetris Battle Royale, huh? 34th, alright. I'm about to murder some more sharks. You just hide and watch. I'm not gonna call them bad names, though. But yeah, the fact that uh, it's not Dead Mouse's primary income and that he doesn't care. My creation is evolving. Thank you, Orkin Man. Means that he is a douchebag. Means that, uh, you know, if it doesn't matter what happens to him, you know, then he could just go ahead and be himself. Boop. There's that fucker. Hi, Sub Zero. Thank you very much, Orkin Man. Are you playing more crappy games today? Uh. 
right, so the reason you would get the shock absorber is so that you wouldn't die to fall damage. Okay, so we don't need to go to the bottom. What we need to do is go back to the submarine, drop the heat thing, and go inside the submarine. I think. We're, ha we're gonna have like 10 backup saves, just in case. It was a douchebag long before this. Uh, I believe it. <clears throat> But I don't really know. There's that fucker. I really should get that command, huh? Alright, welcome everyone to Overblood 2. It is one of the worst games I've ever played. There is basically nothing good about it. Oh, man. oh, I could just climb up the back of the submarine. Who needs ladders? Not me. All right, let's go ahead and throw one of these things. This thing lets me jump twice as high. Maybe I could use the hook shot too. You found Twitch through Dead Mouse? Wow. <clears throat> yeah, he makes music on Twitch. Or he used to. Hi, Bash. Uh, sometimes I have ears. Sometimes I don't. See, there's treasure down there. Am I gonna die if I fall down here again? Ha ha! I live! That was all worth it for five dollars. And ten dollars. And there's the sharks. Hello, sharks. It's more like a sword than a hand knife. Seriously, a hand knife. It's a freaking sword. Look at it. It's gigantic. I don't think I could teabag. Where's the other shark? Did he? Did, was he under the submarine? <laughs> there were three sharks in here, I swear. He must have been underneath the submarine. That's amazing. Must have gotten squished. Alright guys, we're going to go in the submarine now. Can I climb up here? No. So when I read a review for this game, before I started playing it, it said the game is very slow. The cutscenes are slow. The gameplay is slow. Everything is very, very slow. I think I know what they mean now. Am I a new character? Bash, this game has nothing to do with the first game whatsoever. Nothing. It does have peepos. Okay, that's the only thing, is that this game also has peepos. But, yeah, yeah, but they're not your friends. Alright, 
I'm ready to go in there. It's not gonna let me save right now, though, is it? There is nowhere to use it. You can't use it in this room for reasons. There's that fucker. I don't think I want that guy to see me. It's one of the worst games I've ever played, Bash. It's kind of hard to say what's the worst, though, you know, because, like, I've played so many bad ones, but... This is pretty high up there. How on earth... Just go for it, I guess. I'm playing that on Saturday, Perished Fraud. As well as Not Treasure Hunter and Shaolin. There's an early version of the EU release that you can't actually finish. Wonder if that's this version. This version didn't come out in the US, so this is EU. I hope it's this version, Steelnet. I hope I am on it. <laughs> That would be great. That means I wouldn't have to finish the game. No, this is version Monday! 1. This is version 1.1. 1. 1, so it must be uh, the updated one. Sadly. So this time we're not going to take any damage. There's $15 down there. Why would I even... Okay, because I can't go in there until I get rid of the water. Oh! Maybe I could shoot him? Maybe I can like... Oh no. Really? Why don't you just grab onto it like you did the first time? You suck, Conan O'Brien. Alright, get on the ladder. No, no, get closer to the... Here we go. Here we go. He floats like his balls are very buoyant. Okay. All right. You like monkey? Monkey's a good sound. It's from the game Monkey Ma- No! Okay. It's from the game Monkey Magic. Which I do want to do a full playthrough of. Just to listen to that over and over. I don't think so, Sam Squamps. I was thinking about that, but I don't really have any reason to try it. Do you mind, Conan? Oh my god. Just just make me work for it then. This is basically impossible. It's a good question. Uh, 
I just, I just want to go grab them and get out of here. I can't say anything. Skills you. Oh, there's something I missed. Gold key card. Needed that. I'm a heal. No. It won't kill you, he says. So there's like three items I need to pick up there. Weak. And I have a heal. I picked one up. How much longer do I have to play this game? Only 30 minutes. And then we get to play a fun game. Siphon Filter 3. And then after we play that for two hours, we're going to play Wild Arms for two hours. So this is the last bad game of the day. I'm happy to say. Way too fast. Wrong. I just I want to make this jump because I, I did it before okay I made the jump all right, all right. <clears throat> There's like seriously no way to get in here and get this stuff without being seen. It makes you think, you know, you can you can watch the pattern and you know, plan it right, but then it's just like he's just like spinning around. Like, are you kidding me? I can't go through there, okay. Oh, there's one more. Get get up that ladder, idiot. Go up the ladder. Go up the ladder. Okay, good. Uh, I don't even want to try. Why is the water back? I guess because the game had no way of actually uh, getting me back into the other area without just putting the water back with no ex- Why is that shark alive? What the hell? Dude, I just healed. Leave me alone. Okay, now, how we're gonna get over there? We're gonna try this jump, right? This is the best jump we've got. <laughs> Weak. You absolute moron. Up the ladder. Thank you. So we're going to have to do the crazy jump instead. I'm excited. Nah. 
Of course not. Why would that work? We can't even get up a ladder competently. That shark is swimming through the submarine. Yes, he is. He is swimming through the submarine. Why wouldn't he? Of course he is. What else would he do? Can, can you get up there? Okay. All right. Thank you, moron. Absolute wanker. Ooh, I hate him. Okay. We've done it! We get to save the game. <laughs> oh, God. It's just like, oh, my God, I never have to do that again. Instead, we get to do this incredibly laggy room here. Jesus. Oh, uh, this hurts. <laughs> there was an item that prevented electronic shock, but really I didn't have the money to buy anything. It's like all these useful items, but the game didn't give me the money to buy any of them. So, you know, what's the point of having good items that help you out in situations coming up when... The game does not provide enough cash to buy any of them. Plus, you wouldn't know what's coming up. There were all kinds of different items. Anyway, uh, we don't have to play this game for much longer at all today. <clears throat> See if we can go upstairs again. <sighs> Treasure for me! A heal. I have a ridiculous number of those already. Don't you look at me. The hell? Why am I suddenly in a pub? Ten credits. Five credits. Do you know how much it costs to buy anything in this game? Hundreds and hundreds. And they're like, here's five dollars. And there's no random battles, so you can't grind money. It's like, you get what the game gives you. And that is all.
Alright, let's save here. So, basically, what I know in this area is that I'm trying to rip off the government. That is literally the only thing I know. I don't know what I'm trying to steal or why. I know literally nothing. My character knows nothing. Nothing was explained to my character. You're going to go break into Billboard Island and rip off the government. But he's like, I'm in. Hi, Xavier. No, this is not Overblood. This is Overblood 2. In space. I know you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Wait, is today the 13th? Hi, Scab Looney. <laughs> Thank you for 17 freaking months, dude. Appreciate it. How you doing? Do you know who's a badass motherfucker? Do y'all know? Where'd all the robots go? Oh, there's one. Let's try this water closet. Scabloni's a badass motherfucker. That's who. <laughs> Alright, this is the, the men's. That was the ladies, I guess. I got the extinguishing spray. One of these days, I'm going to walk out, and there's going to be a robot, like, right in front of me. What did I tell you, huh? What did I say? <sighs> okay. Let's try door number one. Card locked. Are they, are they still walking around? Where is it? Gold, gold card. What? Gold key card. Use. The key doesn't match. The key doesn't match. There is a robot. Haha! <laughs> Don't touch me. The key doesn't match. Okay. Perhaps the gold door will be opened by the gold card key. <laughs> You're right, I would never say it. <laughs> when are you playing Doom? Ult oh, tomorrow? You're playing Ultimate Doom? Or the new Doom? What kind of Doom are you playing? There's different Dooms, you know. You got the five grenade. Ultimate! Are you playing on GZ Doom? I sure hope you're not playing it in DOS Box. Because that would suck for you. Because you at least want to turn on Always Run. That's kind of uh, one of the best things in the game. I got an army jacket. Well, what you really want to do is just install GZ Doom, and all you gotta do, if you have Doom installed, you just start up GZ Doom, and uh, it'll ask you which Doom you want to play, and you pick the one, you pick Ultimate Doom, and you go. You can set up controls, you can have 16 by 9 which is very nice. You have all kinds of options that you wouldn't have in DOSBox. It's the one on the left, Jeezy Doom. If you want to try it, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's basically an emulator for, for Doom. So, it's a source port. 
And uh, you got all the options, and you should refer questions to me. You know, you can have a crosshair, all kinds of stuff. Okay, I should have saved. Should have saved. Open the door! I guess the most important things are make the HUD look the right size. You know, if you like, uh, if you change the resolution, it'll probably make the HUD too big or too small, that sort of thing. And, you know, there's like the HUD options. You can change HUD scaling, I think, changes it, you know. You don't want that to look all crazy. <clears throat> Other than that, you know, turning on always run and like, I think it's under character options, probably. To open this door, you need a key red, which is hidden somewhere. Okay, thanks game. I don't know why I would know that, but the game tells me. Ah, you stupid robots. All right, I want to go up the stairs. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to jump. Just don't bind jump or crouch at all. Because you might, you might soft lock yourself, honestly, if you jump in maps that you're not supposed to. Open! Alright, is the other side open? Otherwise, I'm going to break this. I'm going to break, I'm going to break it! I'm going to break it! What was my attack button? You know, earlier in the game... I shot out a window with this gun. Okay. Fine. No, that's, that's, no. 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 No? Are you, are you kidding me? Is this possibly because the gun is pointing through the... No? Okay, uh, now it works. Of course now it works. I mean... <sighs> I mean, why not, really? So, there's something in there. I see it. Right there. I cannot get it. Hard. It's too hard. It makes no sense whatsoever. Anything So here's the deal, guys. If you jump, you can't get in there. If you run and jump, you can get in there. I wasted like four bullets. What are you talking about? OK. 
Okay, so I, I can I I see something through this thing or behind this thing because of clipping. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Sure, okay. I'm fine with that. So it looks like I need to go up there. Push buttons, maybe. It's just, it, not really, not really, noob, not really. I mean. You can break the door by inflicting damage upon it much as you would anything else. Although you caused some damage. The door didn't break. That means that you didn't use enough destructive power. I didn't do any damage to the door. I did not touch the door. To cause greater damage, it's best to explode several bombs at the same time. To destroy the trailer door, you need only one bomb. To destroy a whole trailer, you'll need several bombs. Are you kidding me, dude? Is that a room? Well, I think there's something. You're telling me how to use the camera now? All right, the first thing we're going to do is walk down these stairs and save the game. Go away, idiot. Leave me alone. I mean, they told me how to use the camera a long time ago. They're just... Repeating themselves for no reason. Because the programmers think that the player is too stupid after all this time to even know anything. We're saving because I don't want to blow myself up. Which is probably going to happen. I don't even know why I have any of the patience to play. Okay, here's why I have the patience to play this game, unlike most adventure games. Because no matter how slowly this game progresses, I'm doing something. The adventure games I hate are the ones where... I'm not doing anything. Like, where there's one thing I need to do, but I can't figure out what it is, so I'm just walking around doing absolutely nothing. So I haven't gotten stuck in this game at all. I'd rather be stuck... I'd rather never be stuck and just wander around and do dumb shit that probably isn't anything for hours and hours and hours than actually be stuck for any amount of time whatsoever. Thank you, Corn King. Okay, uh, bombs. Time bomb, decoy, grenade. Okay, how about a time bomb set for five seconds? Okay, giant badass PS1 explosion, boom! Hey, that wasn't too bad. I expected less, to be honest. 10 grenade. Energy pack. Hello, camera. Hello, ca camera. Hello? Okay. 
Two switch bomb. All right. I love this camera. I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. You know I'm cute. You ain't got to lie to kick it, Orkin Man. Wait, what? It's a trailer entrance. You mean that's the like the cargo door, cargo bay door kind of thing? Is that what you're saying? That's where the trailers enter. Therefore, it's a trailer entrance. If you say so. If you say so. All right. Do you think we can do it? First try. Yatch. Okay. Um. Check it later, Corn King. Uh, you should put it in the Discord music channel, though, and make make everybody in there listen to it. That's all I wanted. 100 credits. Okay, so what is the point? Was that really for 100 credits? Are you kidding me? Because I could already get up here. Like, I could already get up to the upper ledges up here. I didn't have to move anything, right? This was already here. Maybe something over here. It wasn't really for a hundred credits, was it? I mean, it's a hundred credits, you know? Better than no credits. Sorta, of. not really. Twenty credits. <sighs> Can we move on? Well, that's the best reason to do it, Corn King. All right, screw this. I ain't dying. What if I push this button again? Oh God. What is the point? Beep. Yeah. 
Damn it. So yeah, it's like most adventure games I get stuck where I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, but there's no options. There's nowhere for me to go and wander around and faff about with things. As long as I have things to faff, then I, I don't get pissed off. But it's just if if I've been everywhere and done everything and I have no idea what to do, that's when it's like, this, that's when I hate it. Okay, let's go up again. Okay. Hello. It's a sale on peepos. Can I save up here? No, I cannot. I should go back downstairs and save. <sighs> no camel rage. Hey, we're at six hours. I get to uh, not play this game anymore. Till tomorrow. Get away from me, you stupid robot. You're going to the bar. What is this camel rage you speak of? I think it's a myth. Two hours. Uh, it's more like four just because of resets and deaths. We'll Google when we when we have to. We'll Google when we run out of things to faff. We will faff until there is no more things to faff. And then we will Google. First the Google, then... No, first the faff, and then the Google. <clears throat> <laughs> Maybe some someday, Mega, someday. All right, Tarzan. Okay. Uh, we saved. Look at this stupid guy. Oh, man, he's so stupid looking. He barely has a face. Look at his hair. Isn't it great? It's so cool. I want to be just like him when I grow up. I want to race junk blades. You know, as many hours into this game as we are, I still have no idea what a junk blade is. This guy's whole life ambition is to be a junk blade racer. What's a junk blade? I, I still don't know. However, we're going to check out the opening intro cinematic and maybe we can spot a junk blade. Let's do it. Let me know if you spot what you think could be a junk blade, okay? <laughs> or him being junk. You don't know what a junk blade is either. Weak. Brains. Just to make sure. Did I miss something before that? You have a face. You must be important. I feel a guy. <laughs> the force is something. I feel a guy. Memory disappear. 
That fellow, same time, memory, get back, are afraid! An experiment, variety, blood, persona. Did that say explode? Or am I tripping? Supposing. Surely find a thing to look for. We met that guy already. Ballroom dancing. Now, that's not a junk blade, that's a flymobile. Oh, there it was! We didn't get to see it though. That had to have been it. He looked like he was racing, but they only showed his face. Because even the developers of the game don't know what a junk blade is. Oh, there you go. I feel a guy. It's great. I feel a guy. Can't wait to play more of this game. <laughs> Who are you? All right. I want to yawn. I'm not gonna do it. Fight it! <sighs> Fuck this game. <sighs>